One of the most fascinating war campaigns in the ancient world took place in the year 701 BCE, when Sennacherib, king of Assyria, set out with a mighty army in an attempt to conquer Hezekiah, king of Judea, and his capital, Jerusalem. For thousands of years, we knew about this campaign only in the pages of the Bible, until 1830, when a surprising discovery was made in northern Iraq. In Sennacherib's palace in the city of Nineveh, archaeologists found a hexagonal prism made of baked clay with an inscription in Akkadian. In the inscription, Sennacherib, the great conqueror, commemorates his military campaigns, including his expedition to the land of Judea and Jerusalem. Sennacherib boastfully presents himself in the opening sentences. I am Sennacherib, the great king, the mighty king, king of the world. He continues by bragging about his sophisticated conquest of the fortified cities of Judea. As for Hezekiah the Judahite, who did not submit to my yoke, 46 of his strong walled cities, as well as the small towns in their area, which were without number, by leveling with battering rams and by bringing up siege engines. The Book of Kings recounts very much the same reality. Now in the 14th year of King Hezekiah, did Sennacherib, king of Assyria, come up against all the fenced cities of Judah and took them. It is fascinating that even the heavy taxes imposed by Sennacherib upon Hezekiah are described in an almost identical manner, both in the prism and in the Bible. He, Hezekiah, overwhelmed by my majestic awe, he sent me to Nineveh, my capital, 30 talents of gold. And Hezekiah, king of Judah, sent to the king of Assyria 300 talents of silver and 30 talents of gold. Despite the heavy taxes that he had imposed, Sennacherib was determined to conquer Jerusalem. However, the end of the story and the fate of the city as described in the prism is very peculiar. Rather than boast of his conquest of Jerusalem, Sennacherib settles for a brief description of the caged king Hezekiah. As for Hezekiah the Judahite, like a caged bird, I shut him up in Jerusalem, his royal city. I threw up earthworks against him, and one coming out of the city gate, I turned back to his misery. Many scholars believe that this meager account serves as convincing proof that Sennacherib did not succeed in his design to conquer Jerusalem. The Assyrian army had to withdraw after failing to subdue its enemy. A more precise account of the battle's end and of what took place behind the walls of Jerusalem is brought forth in the prophecy of Isaiah. Therefore, thus says the Lord concerning the king of Assyria, he shall not come into the city, nor shoot an arrow there, nor come before it with shields, nor cast a bank against it. By the way he came, by the same shall he return, and shall not come into the city, says the Lord.